first telephone boxes operated by British Telecom's new rival went online today at Waterloo Station in London. Mercury claim their phone boxes are cheaper and cleaner and say they'll soon be found in all the major cities. These are the new telephones. They don't take cash, only credit cards or prepaid Mercury phone cards, which some were lucky enough to get free this morning. At five pence per call, the service is half the cost of British Telecom, and the designs are nothing if not distinctive. Well, you've got more privacy, haven't you? You're in a box, you're not stuck out with all that noise behind you. It looks a bit too old-fashioned. I think it looks quite nice. But Mercury is still heavily dependent on BT. Customers can phone any number, anywhere in the world. But that's only because Mercury is linked with the BT network. And there have been some complaints about poor service. They've been mainly caused by congestion on the British Telecom network when it connects with ours. But those problems are going away as British Telecom is changing their network to accommodate our, us. Trade and Industry Secretary Lord Young made the first call to Mercury's chairman. I'm not sure the one with the Corinthian columns will go, but you'll have to tell me where that one goes. Mercury plans to have 400 phones in London stations by next spring and then increase the service across the country, which might get BT thinking about polishing up its act. Joan Thurkettle, ITN, Waterloo. Suitably heroic music for the launch of what Mercury describe as an historic first, a competitive public payphone service. The Secretary for Trade and Industry performed the ceremony to reveal three new designs already condemned by some as dated and visually offensive. There's the conservatory-style booth, the Art Deco box for city office blocks, and the classical core box complete with Grecian columns. They only accept prepayment cards or major credit cards, no cash, but Mercury boasts many other selling points. Cheaper, clearer and also going to be cleaner because we're going to make sure that the service is cleaned at least twice a day and also that the modern technology of the new telephone allows us to test it every four hours from our telephone exchange to make sure it's working. Telecom certainly seem to have received the clean-up message and were polishing their payphones closest to the Mercury launch. The telephone kiosk began appearing on the streets at the turn of the century. A score of designs were tried, some even had attendance. But a competition in 1924 produced the famous red box, designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, the standard call box for 50 years. But what does the competition think of the new designs from Mercury? They brought to mind some of the earlier designs when I first saw them. Uh, it was one that really looked very much similar to a 1923 design, which uh, I thought was strange. The changing telephone box, and that was the 6 o'clock news on Wednesday the 27th of July.